Hi there and welcome back to Japan where we're going to do a first ever reaction and review to Kelmako and we're starting with the song Player which was so wonderfully recommended to us. Thank you very much. Now as you might be aware if you know anything about this channel you're probably going to know how this works by now. Since we came back we have to do things slightly differently so actually I'm about to give you the review of the song. I just did the reaction which you can easily check out by pausing this video and clicking the link in the description below which will open a separate player just so you can watch that. We have to separate the reaction and the review long story but anyway there you go you'll be able to check that out so if you want to check out the reaction before you hear what i think of the song then please feel free to do that now have you checked it out are you happy have you seen the reaction are you happy with everything you've seen is it good are you ready to hear my review well here it comes you left it too late if you didn't already pause me so um this was a real mixed bag but in basically my feelings was this was very positive in that i really want to hear more of this group and like i've been given more links so i will be checking out more of kelmico definitely um it appeals to me a lot on the surface because of the fact that um I like these sort of, uh, I like these upbeat, funky Japanese hip hop groups. It's a bit of a stereotype, I know, but I do like it. I mean, I was a big fan of How Cali. Um, I really liked a lot of their early stuff, especially as well. They did some great stuff, which was just, you know, I mean, you look at stuff like Giri Giri Surf Rider, that song was just amazingly catchy. That is like timelessly good. Even as a sort of cheesy sub hip hop thing, it's timelessly good. And I think there's a similar vibe, at least from this first song I've heard by Kelmako, of what they're doing. And a similar sort of fun vibe but the sort of playfulness between them that again remind me a lot of How Cali. Um, I have no idea if there's any relation, by the way. So <laughs> when I was listening to it, it might even be the same record company or same manager. Hmm, suddenly I've started thinking. Either way, I've only heard one song. I can't judge the whole group on that. So anyway, the thing is, is that this managed to hit a lot of the right buttons, a lot of things that I liked. I liked the sort of simple but catchy production. I liked that it was upbeat. I liked the fact that they had a sort of group sing-along, shout-along type chorus, which is really fun. Again, very how Kelly. I loved the fact that as vocalists, they made a good job of flipping up the rhythm. They didn't get stuck in, um, sorry, something in my, they didn't get stuck in one rhythm too much. Um, they, you know, they kept on changing their style. They were very creative. A lot of uh, Japanese and Asian, to be honest, hip hop is very good with that. Um, Western hip hop can be a mixed bag with that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, some of it is amazing on that element. Some of it's really unimaginative. A lot of these Japanese groups, especially the female ones, again, you know, female rap groups tend to be very creative with this kind of thing in Asia and Japan. Uh, again, this was another quality that was very halkali. Now, the what I'm going to come down to here, and like I said, I, I want to put this all in the light of the fact that basically I enjoyed this song. I'm looking forward to hearing more of this group. I have to be honest, though, because we're always on this channel and say that I'm not 100% sold on it yet. The reason why I want to hear more is because I think this is something that I really want to like and that I should like. And yet this song didn't really feel like it quite, it felt like it was pressing the right buttons, but not quite clicking them. Um, like the beat had a really fun element to it, but it remained too simple. There was, um, you look at a lot of the other groups who do these kind of things, there's little playful things that happen in the beat. The beat will have little funny chains up and shifts that make it kind of sound playful. So you get the feeling that the producer, even the person making the beats, is having a lot of fun. And when you've got a song that's not supposed to be taken seriously, you can kind of go a bit more crazy, especially with hip hop. Um, and, you know, especially poppy hip hop, where you're not restrained by too much by any style. It is a very sort of relaxed genre with a lot of things you can do. I mean, this is why remixing is such a big thing hip-hop because it's a genre where you can do so much in the background um you know it, it felt like they just kind of had a beat and not much was really done with it there were changes but nothing particularly that made it feel like the mood was being changed just a bit would drop out here a bit would come in there nothing that really sort of had any sort of dissonant or fun qualities it was just oh here's a fun beat and it will keep on going that way pretty much throughout um so I felt that the beat was very undeve underdeveloped to me. Um, with the vocal lines, now, like I said, I really liked that they flipped up the styles. And there were some bits where they went a bit faster, um, but as a general, most of it was quite mid to slow tempo. It kind of felt like a, uh, you're being delivered in a slightly overly relaxed way. Again, this depends. It could be a real contrast to the rest of the material. So I don't want to sound like I'm overly judging. I'm just saying this based on the first listen and the reaction. I kind of wanted to hear with all of the flipping styles that they were doing, I wanted to hear a few more bits where maybe there were some long runs of like um, uh, getting an unusual rhythm and then just sort of putting a few bars of that out. And it, it you know, like I say, there were changes, but none of them particularly were surprising. They're all things you've heard before, like a little tripleted rhythm on where the, um, where the, 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 the um, 
uh, syllables are enunciated the most, you know, where the pressure on the syllables is on sort of triplets and things like that. It was all fairly standard stuff. Like they were going through a fairly basic fair of rhythms. Um, so I'm kind of listening to this. And I'm thinking I like so much of what's going on here and I basically like this song. But the feeling I'm left with is I'm pretty sure that this could have been done better. I mean, it's pretty clear from the occasional little bits, the very small bits of complicated um, rhythmic work that they did vocally, that clearly they're very capable. And the fact that they've had what seems to be, at least from the what happens if you put their name into YouTube, um, they seem to have had quite a long career. It would suggest to me, or a, you know, quite a prolific career at least, it would suggest to me that obviously they have enough talent to do a lot of stuff. It just, this didn't feel like, uh, admittedly it was my, ch I chose to pick this one first because I like the thumbnail. Um, it didn't feel like the flagship best song to start on in that it didn't, I kind of got the feeling this is a very soft intro. It kind of goes, well, here's a tone. It's nice and it's welcoming, but it, it didn't really felt like it had a huge amount. And like I say, one of the things that really separates hip hop as a general from a lot of other genres is that hip hop is a genre where, despite, I know there's always going to be serious people who are like, just like with metal, people are like, oh, that's not metal. There's people are like, oh, that's not hip hop. Like it's hip hop. Um, it's rap at least, whatever you want to call that. The truth is, is that as a genre, it's based on the idea that the vocals are not dependent on melody, they're not dependent on tune. The, the vocals are all about rhythm. Therefore, the tune underneath can be whatever you want it to be. This is why you can literally take a rap track, most rap tracks, and this is a sung chorus, you can literally just take out the backing and put in any other backing in the same timing, and you create a nice, interesting re re remix, like a little, little remix, you know, putting a new beat. Um, it's one of the things that makes it so fun. It's not developed, it's not dependent so much on pitch. It basically means put together any pitches, any sort of melodies, anything you want with an interesting rhythm. And therefore, when you're listening to hip hop, you have a higher expectation for creativity because the genre itself allows more room for experimentation. Um, you know, when you've got a complicated rock tune, you've got some very complicated um, progression, you are more limited on what you can do next. Uh, you have certain options on how you build on what core patterns have come before. I mean, yes, you can go crazy to a certain degree, but if you actually want people to enjoy it, there are certain rules and certain things that you have to follow. Um, you can still be very creative, but that's that's the thing. It's more of the art of understanding that. Um, hip hop and that sort of thing is more the art of going completely crazy and doing whatever you want. This was a feel good track. It was a feel good track that I enjoyed, a feel good track that I want to hear more of this group because of. However, it is a track where I desperately just want to take this recording and maybe even those two as well into a studio and say, okay, we did something good here as a demo. Let's work on this and make it better. Um, so yeah, I, I just, uh, I feel this was good, simple, inoffensive, but it deserved to be more developed than it was. And I do think the talent was definitely there. So I'm looking forward to hearing more of Kelmico. Certainly they've appealed very much to me. I love this sort of style of fun pop rap. Um, you know, rap like with any other genre can have different moods, but um, considering that we're all aware of the fact that rap uh, to the layman has something of a, shall we say, it doesn't have a most fun, joyous, reputation it's often seen more as a very serious genre and you know um it's i like seeing this kind of um, rap where it's fun it's poppy it's got a sense of self-aware silliness this really appeals to me it's the sort of thing that i could listen to this uh, a mix of just this kind of music all day and not get tired of it i love this kind of music it's very unpressuring very enjoyable but like i say the pressure is not so much to do something particularly masterful the pressure is to have as much fun as you can and i think that the girls were certainly having fun but um like i say i keep on banging around the point here but i want to hear this more developed anyway there you go there's my point that's what i think of it um very hard one to sum up this one because like i say I, I feel like most of the things worth commenting on this were more about my feeling of how it could have been better However, my overwhelming feeling coming out of this is that actually I really enjoyed that and I'm looking forward to listening to that again. And I will be listening to that again. And there'll always be that twinging voice in the back of my head going, ah, I wish it was a bit better. So that's probably why I'm going to pile on some more Kelmico reviews soon um, because these are all genuine first reactions. So as a result, I'm not going to have anything to compare it into until I do more reviews. So I'll probably record a few more as soon as I can so that I can get around to developing my Kelmico library a bit anyway. So anyway, whether you're a fan of the group or not, especially actually in these cases when it's first I'm listening. I really appreciate fans coming in, giving their opinions as well. That means a lot because 
I'm obviously giving a layman's view of this. I've worked with music my entire life, but I don't know the artist. Really interested in seeing what you guys say. Apologies, by the way, I know this group's come up a lot in Discord chat, so apologies if people have said things before about them and I've forgotten or I've equated it to being charisma.com. That's just my brain. You know I'm awful with names of things. So um, that's like the worst thing for me to remember. So please, guys, do get in the comments either way, whether you like them or whether you don't, whether you knew them or whether you're new to them, then um, like I say, just get in there, tell me what you think. And I'm looking forward to having a good healthy discussion about this and learning from you guys more about the artist as well as hearing your opinions. Uh, remember music is only good as good as how insane it is to you, the objective and the subjective, both important in their own ways. Um, and as always, if you wanna get more involved in the discussion, remember that our Discord and our Reddit are linked in the description below as well. And they're great places to get involved in the discussion with us. Um, I'm on there as well with everyone else, but everyone's always chatting about all kinds of Japanese music all the time, as well as an array of different other things. There's my Facebook and Twitter linked, and of course, there is the home of our wonderful people who keep the channel alive, Patreon. Thank you so much. It's really great to have so many good supporters on here, but the fact that any of you are willing to open your uh, wallets and uh, help keep this thing running uh, on the shoestring budget that we have is massively appreciated. This is a non-profit channel for after all, so therefore those guys literally... If you like these videos, I appreciate you pressing like, but those are the guys to thank. Thank you to everyone who keeps the community running here. So until I see you hopefully very soon on the next video, thank you for making it to the end of this one. And for now, ciao, ciao.